Today we are taking a look at these jumping eggs over here. All the pets, but not the world for pets, since we have to defeat the world boss to unlock it, and the world boss does not exist. So yes, these world 1, world 2, and world 3 pets, but also the genetics, the special ability everyone have. And by special ability, I don't mean the shiny special, but these things here. I have not unlocked all of them yet, but that will not be an issue. So let's start here with the fighter. It's a fighter ability with a cooldown of 5, throws a rusty sword, which deals 200% damage. When in combat, all pets on team deal 1.10% more damage. And the pets that have this fighter ability is the green mushroom, red mushroom, and pincermin. Defender. It's a fighting ability and has a cooldown of 8, throws an armor shield which gives 100% block chance to pets it passes over and deals 50% damage. When in combat, all pets have 12% block chance. And the pets that have it is the Mimic, Sheepy and the Mecho Mouse. Forager. It's a foraging, cooldown of 12, heals all pets by 25%. When foraging, this pet contributes two times foraging speed. The squirrel, mafioso, sustache, and block. And bloche. Blockwe. And the blockwe. Or bloche, maybe. That one is pretty hard to pronounce. The fleeter. It's a foraging. Cooldown of 13. Boost ability recharge rate for all pets by 30% for 8 seconds. Doesn't boost other fleeter pets though. When foraging, all pets contribute 1.30 times more foraging speed, board bean and crab cake. This is a really good one when you want more spice. Breeder, it's a breeding type, cooldown of 15. Every one second, heal whatever pet you're holding down on for 5% HP. On PC, you just need a mouse over the pet. On phones, your finger must be on the pet. This lasts 10 seconds. When in fence yard, increases breedability multiplier of this pet. Species. And I assume all pets can have this. Seems to be a random chance once you have unlocked it. Once you have this at least level 1, you can randomly get these breedability type. And you put them here. And then they will run around here for you. This doesn't really do anything, but if you look here, you can have a small breedability multiplier. And then there is a special one here. Simply called special. Cooldown of 15. Summon shooting stars, which double the damage of all attacks they touch. When in fence yard, increase a special passive of this pet species over time. I'm not sure who has this ability. I'm guessing it's shiny ones. I don't have any shiny right now, so I can't confirm it. Mercenary. It's a fighter. Cooldown of four. Throws two to three small daggers, which deal 150% damage. When foraging, this pet contributes two times fighting power. And a carrot man and a moon moon. Boomer, it's a fighter, cooldown of 7, throws a boomerang which deals 60% damage and has an 80% chance to bounce. When in combat, this pet in front of this one has ability reset to 30%. Frog and Quenchy, another hard name to pronounce. Then we have the first one of the new ones. Sniper, it's a fighter ability with cooldown of 9, fires a bullet at the farthest enemy, 200% damage, 30% crit chance and 4 times crit damage. When in combat, all pets have 25% crit damage. Wild Boar and Thermister. Amplifier, it's a fighter, cooldown of 10, summons a spiral which deals 100% damage and 50% more damage for each attack that moves through it. When in combat, all pets have 10% crit chance. Pigo, Gigafrog and Mashed Potato. Sar, it's a fighter, cooldown of 25. Drop da Bomba is its primary ability. When forging, the pets in a territory above and below contribute 1.5 fight power. And the only pet that have this is the poop. Rattler, it's a fighting ability, cooldown of 4, throws 5 bones. Bones deal 5% damage, plus 1% more damage for each bone ever thrown. Now I'm not sure what this means. Do they mean in this fight? Or from this specific pet? Or do they mean every single bone thrown ever? in your history because if you just spam a bunch of bones that's gonna be pretty damn powerful pretty damn quick when in combat this pet's basic attack is now a bone instead of a fist and a lot of pets that have this ability the rat sand giant dig dog beefy crescent spud shippy cryo snake boop box neptune dedutated ram blood bone and the panda 
There are so many that have this that I'm not sure if some of them just has it as a placeholder or what. Or is the Rattler ability the intended way to just power up to beat the later levels? It's too early to say. Cursory. It's a fighting ability with cooldown of 3. Shoots a cursed skull which deals 50% damage and makes all future attacks deal 5% more damage. When in combat, pets in front and behind this one deals 1.5 times more damage. Slime and Wood Ward. Fastidious, it's a foraging ability with a cooldown of 10. Permanently gives all pets 1% crit chance, 5% crit damage and 2% ability regen speed. When foraging, has a small chance for lava to decide what it will do. Tyson and Penguin. So I guess when you unlock your first Tyson, you get the permanent bonus straight away. And then it does nothing else. I guess this is a work in progress skill. Flashy. It's a foraging skill with a cooldown of 18. Duplicates all friendly attacks instantly. Almost like magic. When foraging, all pets contribute 1.5 more foraging speed if there are no combat pets in the team. And the only pet that have this is the bunny. Opticular. Foraging with a cooldown of 7. Permanently boosts the crit chance of all pets. Only recharges when an attack critical hits. When forging, this pet contributes 3 times forging speed if it has the largest number on the team. Malay and the Silobone. Monolithic. It's a forging with a cooldown of 20. Freezes time for 6 seconds. During this, pet continue to shoot basic attacks and regen abilities. When forging, the requirement to fill the reward bar goes up less every time it is filled. And the only pet with this ability is the Snellby. Alchemic, foraging, with a cooldown of 9, turns all friend attacks into cursed skulls. When foraging, there is a 50% chance for 2 spices when filling the reward bar. And the only pet with this ability is the mammoth. Badum dum, foraging with a cooldown of 7, permanently boosts the basic attack speed of all pets, only recharges when a basic attack hits. When foraging, the pets in the territory above and below contribute 1.20 times foraging speed. And the only pet with this ability is the whale. Depthstone, it's a fighting ability with a cooldown of 5. Shoots rocks based on the total number of blocks by your team. Reset block amount when activated. When in combat, all pets have 50% more HP. Sandcastle and Snowman. Targeter, it's a foraging ability with a cooldown of 8. The next non-basic attack fired will deal 2.5 times more damage. When foraging, this pet contributes 5 times foraging speed if the pet above this one is also a targeter. Baby Boa and Frostflake. Looter. It's a foraging ability with a cooldown of 4. Activates a random ability selected from all the abilities across all pets you ever had. When foraging, there is a small chance to find extra spices when filling the reward bar many times before claiming. Nuttu and Sandy Pot. Refiller. It's a foraging ability with a cooldown of 30. For 6 seconds, every non-basic attack that hits a monster refills a random ability on the team by 5%. When in combat, all abilities start at 25% filled. Globlin and Walking Stick. Eggshell. It's a foraging ability with a cooldown of 12. For 10 seconds, every critical hit boosts the block chance of all pets by 1%. When in fence yard, randomly lays eggs which can be picked up and will appear in your incubator. No pets seem to have this ability yet. It will most likely be used in the world 4 tier. And that's all the fighting genetics and the, all the forager genetics. And also all the pets. You can see here some are new. Mostly the question marks is my guess. But there are also some that are simply reskin. This guy is a reskin of the Tyson. The beefy, I think it's called. This guy is a reskin of the mashed potato. But instead of a hammer, he got the some kind of axe. So the squirrel is new. The pig is new. And then here is a wild boar. And I think this is some kind of duck. And this key here is to unlock the sheepy. Then you have a whale. And then here is a sheepy. I'm not sure what that guy looks like. And this is the beefy. And this is the crescent spud. And this guy is the bunny. And here is the mecha mouse. And here is a panda. Hopefully that answered any questions you have about the genetics and the future pets. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.